In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the audio from a video for your Adobe Captivate project. So I got a message from one of the viewers of my YouTube channel and they've got a video that they want to use in their Adobe Captivate project. But unfortunately, it's got some audio already in it. Their intention is to replace the audio with some narration that matches the rest of their e-learning course. And they asked, of course, how can I remove the audio from the video inside Adobe Captivate? Well, actually, there's no capability to do that. Uh, to remove uh, audio from your video, you're going to actually need to use Adobe Media Encoder. Good news, Adobe Media Encoder is included with Adobe Captivate. So while you might not be aware you have it installed, it's probably already on your system. Let me show you how you use it. Okay, so now I'm using Adobe Media Encoder 2022. You might be using Adobe Media Encoder uh, 2018 or, or something like that, depending on other software you, you have installed. I'm using the Creative Cloud, so I have the most up-to-date version. Here's a sample video. Let's play it for a second. Uh, it's of an airport, uh, and it shows lots of activity, and it's got some funky music in the background. So that's just not going to work for an e-learning course, especially if you're going to have, you know, some narration over top of that. Really easy to do. We're going to open up Adobe Media Encoder uh, and drag our video from wherever it is over to the queue over here. And when I let that go, it's going to set up some current settings for this. Basically, it's matching the source. If I double click on match source here, I can change some of the settings. Let's enlarge this to fill my screen here. And you can get into the specifics of what your video settings are and things like that. But for the purpose of this video, all we want to do is remove the audio. You see these two check boxes here, export video, export audio. Simply uncheck export audio and we'll hit OK. And when we're ready to go, we just click the start queue button. And this will just take a moment or two because it's a short video. And you see, I now have a video on my desktop called sample video underscore one. The underscore one was added by media encoder. And if we play that now, you'll see the audio has been removed and I can now import this into Adobe Captivate using the usual methods and add whatever narration I wish over top. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.